Welcome to online session of Power Plant Engineering. My name is Vishal Acharya. Today we will discuss about the implant handling system, coal waging system and coal burning system. First, implant handling, coal handling. Coal handling between the final storage to the firing equipment is called the implant coal handling system. A conveying system to feed the coal from any bunker section to any fixing unit and to move coal from one bunker section to the another in the plant handling may include the conveyor to transfer the coal, wedge, lorries, hopper and automatic scale to record the quantity of coal delivered to the furnace. Our next topic is coal wedging. Coal wedging the commonly used method to wedge the coal means the Check the quantity of coal before the entering to the boiler. Three system we use mechanical, pneumatical and electric. A mechanical method works on the suitable lever system mounted on the knife edge and bearings. Here is connected to a resistance in the form of the spring or pendulum. Our next system is the pneumatic system. In the pneumatic wager used to the pneumatic transmitter weight head. The corresponding air pressure determined to by the load applied calibration. And last is the electronic waging machine. Make the use the load cell that produce the voltage signal proportional to the load applied. Next is the coal burning system. Here the coal burning system some factors require for the selection of the coal burning system. First is the type of fuel to be burned, means the characteristic value and FCB value of fuel. Second type of the firing method to be used is the pneumatic burners or the stokers. Amount of heat to be recovered, the efficiency of the heat recovering system, amount of steam to be produced is converted into chemical energy into the heat energy percentage by thermal efficiency pressure and temperature desire for the require for the design of furnace great area required is totally depend upon the type of fuel and the quantity of the fuel next is the as fusion temperature is depend upon the boiler hopper for last pass where S is collected. Flame length is totally depend upon the burning of coal particle size and amount of excess air required for the complete combustion and higher efficiency of combustion. Here coal burning system is divided into two parts. First is the mechanical firing. Here mechanical firing stoker are commonly used for solid fuel in medium or small power plant. In medium power plant or small power plant where great is stationary, where coal is fed by the help of the shovel. But in nowadays in modern power plant, they require the operating conditions smoothly and higher efficiency of combustion. So we Require the, the grade is continuously moving and higher production of combustion fuel. First is the overfit stoker, second is the in the overfit stoker, two types traveling grade stoker and spreader stoker. In mechanical firing, other type is the underfit stoker, underfit stoker, two type single retro stoker and multi retro stoker. And next part is the hand firing method. First, in the hand firing method, is simple method, less capital investment and used to the for small power plant. This method of fuel firing is a discontinuous process and there is a limit to the size of the furnace which can be efficiently fired by this method. Our burning call a total area our opening varies from 30 to 50 percent is very large area compared to the another firing system. The made of the furnace is totally cast iron. 
and nowadays we use the mechanical stoker in the mechanical stoker two type first overfeed stoker in overfeed stoker the coal is fed above the level of the grade of air admission here air admission is below level and our coal feed is the above level here we divided five zone of the combustion first zone is the fresh coal fresh coal means the green coal enter to the furnace second layer is the drier zone in drier zone remove the moisture from the coal our third layer is the distillation zone when coal is remove the volatile metal and our fourth zone is the combustion zone when indesert coke react with the carbon and our last zone is the ash particle when the unburned carbon particle or unburned coal particle here and remove by the help of the chain grid the working process for the overfeed stoker here the primary air and h2o particle means the water particle add from the below the grate here grate and s layer is hotted due to the combustion so air is heated by the absorb the heat from the grate and s particle so here air temperature increase air pass through the indesert cork layer in the indesert cork layer carbon content present so the air is react with the carbon so here produced the carbon dioxide and partially combustion of the carbon oxide and also react the carbon with the hydrogen means the water so produce the hydrogen and carbon monoxide then the air pass through the distillation zone in the distillation zone volatile matter is added and then pass through the drier zone in the drier zone coal moisture remove and then pass through the green coal in the green coal oxygen almost is completely occupied by the carbon so we require the complete combustion we require the new air and so we apply the secondary air here and the produce the complete combustion and the produce the carbon dioxide oxygen and nitrogen and water and here produce the flame here in this layer the contact with the indesert cork so heat transfer by the conduction and in the flame section produce so radiation so get absorbed by radiation also this is the complete the process of the overfit stoker here overfit stoker is divided the two types first is the chain grade stoker in the chain grade stoker here grate is made by the cast iron and the cast iron are connected with the link with the help of pin or bars here here two pulleys are connected with the moving part of the chain grate here adjustable fuel gate is decided to the fuel height or coal height in the grate lever or also we call that the feeder rate of the coal here coal coming from the hopper to the grate level here supply to the air the primary air bottom of the grate and combustion when the start the s particle is removed by the end of the chain grate here and here the for the extra air required we transfer the secondary air here and produce the hot gases passed through the boiler and converted to the steam from the water it is very smoothly in operation the great advantage produce the higher heat and the use for the medium power plant here heat transfer rate for boiler is 150 ton per hour or 250 ton per hour this is the great heat transfer capacity for medium power plant our second overfeed stoker is 
spreader stoker first we learn the ten gray stoker one animation here call is coming adjustable gate is adjust the height of the call feed rate here call enter into the furnace here moving rate for the combustion we require the supply the primary air and last part s is remove here s is remove next part is the spreader stoker this stoker is the same construction only here difference here feeder is required for the quantity of the coal decided and spreader is spread the coal over the grate so the combustion efficiency is high for the easy explanation here coal is passed through feeder and spreader coal is here spread and the combustion will be start when the air is primary air coming out here and ash is collected here this is a simple construction of the overfeed stoker thank you